For this video, we're going to talk about the study of geography. Some of the things we're going to talk about in this video are the what, the where, the why, the care, interrelationships, spatial significance, geographic perspective, and patterns and trends. So when we're looking, we're studying in geography, <clears throat> the first question is we want to talk about what is where. Uh, so we're thinking about the characteristics of a certain area, a certain region, and what do we see there and where do we find it. We're going to learn about different land formations and, and um, different makes up, makeup of our planet, and we want to look at why there are certain land formations in one region versus another. And then we want to talk about what surrounds certain things. So when we think about what happens where, and then what is happening around that thing that we're studying, the why. We ask questions about why do certain things happen where they happen? Why are uh, there certain patterns in human behavior in certain regions? We want to talk about relationships between um, different systems, so different areas, and you know, between human beings and their environment, and what those relationships, how they impact that region. Why should we care about geography? Geography is a way for us to learn about the planet and take action on certain things that um, are happening to make changes, make a better world. But it's also a way to connect us. Sometimes things happen uh, and we think it's so far away from us it doesn't impact us. Studying geography helps us understand that <clears throat> we're all connected because of, you know, we all share one planet <clears throat> and there are patterns and, and things that happen in different places on the earth that if we study them we can learn how to better handle them when they occur in our area, in our regions. So there are four sort of basic categories <clears throat> when we are studying geography. And again, each category is about asking questions. So the first one is called interrelationships. Now interrelationships ask questions about connections and relationships between things. So if you're thinking about a specific region, you're thinking about the characteristics within that region, what makes it, you know, how is it made and what's it made of. And then you can think about the interactions with the surrounding characteristics, so the, the area that's around it, and how those two connect and how they, what relationship they have. <clears throat> also the connection between the human beings that reside in the region, how they adapt or how they alter that area, so how they change their environment. So the next is spatial significance. This is, about, this is talking about a specific location. So an absolute location is using actual coordinates, uh, longitude and latitude. Um, and if you think about your GPS, you find an absolute location of something. So for example, where I am sitting right now, I have an absolute location. If I were to take a step in any direction, I would have a new absolute location. And there's a relative location. This is discussing um, something's location in relation to something else. Uh, so I could say that I'm beside the chalkboard, or I am beside the camera. That is my location in relation to something else, or relative location. And then spatial significance. Why does something occur in one place over another? And thinking about those relationships and the other geographic questions uh, to try to figure out why that is. When studying geography, you also need to study all the points of view that come into play in a certain issue. So when you're dealing with <clears throat> Uh, a certain location and an issue that's happening, like in our example, when we talked about um, the dam being put up on the river and how it would impact <clears throat> a certain Aboriginal group. So there's lots of perspectives that come into play there. One is the environment. What are the environmental impacts of altering a land formation, of altering a region, of altering uh, the actual natural environment? There's a political perspective. This is decisions that are made by the government, and we want to, you have to take into consideration um, that perspective and how it impacts that region. Economy. Uh, how does the economy come into play with regards to changing an environment and changing a region? You know, it talks about making money and how you increase making money or was it, is it a loss of money? And then the cultural and social perspective. Are there two groups that, are, that have opposite points of view because uh, for religious reasons or cultural beliefs and how are you going to work through those when you're making decisions about a region that they both live in. And the last is patterns and trends. This is the great thing about geography is because there's no sort of new land on the planet, we're able to 
look at different <coughs> qualities and characteristics of regions and find patterns. And you can explain why certain trends and things happen if you study how they happen and why they happen in different regions at different times all over the world. So a pattern is similarity in characteristics, similarity in <coughs> uh, qualities of similar regions in different areas. A trend is a, where a, this, the same thing is happening over and over again, and it might be in the same region. It could be in a different, in a different region. Um, but it's studying those patterns where we're able to then prepare for things like weather uh, and extreme weather or natural disasters because we can predict when they're coming. And we're able to, uh, because there's been patterns, we're able to predict how it's going to impact our region, how we can better prepare for it, and how can we, we can recover for our, from it afterwards. <clears throat>